Well, hello there, Eric Griffith here again in Mobile Tech Studio B. And today I wanna to talk to you about a very specific issue uh, I have within the Google Admin Console. And the issue came about just in an odd way. I just got off the phone with tech support. In short, I was changing a domain for all of the users inside my uh, Google account. And for some reason, I had a handful of users that just wouldn't correct or wouldn't uh, allow me to change it said something like cannot create user. So um, that's the error today that I wanna get go over and then the actual fix for it. So this is a very specific fix. Uh, but first I wanna show you the error just in case you're getting that same error, right? So let's jump into our admin console here. And with this specific issue, I have Matt Brenovic, right? So this is the user and you can see his email uh, account is different than everybody else's email account. So I'm going to go ahead and click on his and here's the issue. I want to click rename and I want to change this from edutechsolution.com to mobiletechservice.com. I click rename and I hit save and I hit continue and I get this error message right down here. It says rename user failed. Well, that's not cool. Why can't I rename him? So kind of an odd issue, right? So the fix is you actually have to create that email address. And once you've created that email address, then you should be able to delete it, all right? So I'm not quite sure how this came about. It probably happened as I was uploading, um, uh, doing a bulk upload and I don't know, something was canceled at the last minute or maybe my uh, Google admin uh, session time timed out. Uh, right when I got to the M's, I don't know. Um, but in short, I had to call tech service and, or uh, Google support, and they suggested this is how you do it. You have to delete the user, okay? So if the user is not in there, I had to create him like this and then delete it. So that's what I wanna walk you through. Now, if this solution, and I'm gonna repeat this again, if this solution doesn't work for you, then you do have to email Google and you have to say, can you delete this user for some reason I can't change it, all right? So again, I'm changing the email address and there are many reasons why you'd wanna change the email address. Name change or domain change, whatever the reason being, uh, it just happens, all right? So anyway, here's the weird fix. I need to create uh, this same username up here. So I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back into users. I'm going to click new and I'm going to change this and I'm going to change this to test. Okay. And then I'm going to change this to matt.brenovic. Okay. At mobile tech service. And so I know that's his same email address down here and we'll We'll just create a temporary password there for him and I'll hit create new user. Now watch what happens when I go to create it. It says create user operation fail. So you're thinking, Eric, you're full of poo. Uh, your fix you just showed me did not work, right? Well, let's watch what, what actually happened here. If I hit refresh and I go all the way down to the bottom, I now have this right down here, null which you know as being a tech person means nothing, right? So if I click on null, now when I look at this and I click on his user information, he has no user information. So if I go to rename, he has no first name and no last name, but now that email address is appearing in there. Before it wouldn't let me change it because that email address, according to Google, was in use, all right? So all we have to do to fix this is delete null. All right, so now we can delete this user. I don't want to transfer anything over because there's nothing there. We'll hit delete. Now we can go back to our fix and find Matt again. And I can go to rename user and I can hit change and rename and okay and fingers crossed. There we go, issue resolved. So kind of weird, very specific issue, but something I thought, hey, I can share this with my fellow Google admins and if it helped you out, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and maybe a follow on the Twitter, which you can follow me at Mr. Griftastic on the Twitter, and maybe even a subscribe to our mobile tech channel. So I hope this helped you out, and I hope you have a Griftastic day. Thanks.